Hey friend, this is the Traveling Wellnesspreneur podcast and I'm your host, Ali Temple. I travel full-time running my dream wellness biz from the tropics and I want to share with you how you can create a lifestyle of freedom and purpose too. Stay tuned for inspiring and fun conversations that will empower you to take action towards your dream lifestyle of travel and freedom. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Traveling Wellnesspreneur podcast. I hope you are having a wonderful time wherever you are in the world. I know it's summer for so many of you. I hope you are enjoying all of those summer vibes. Now, for this week's episode, you may have seen that I went live on Instagram earlier this week. I was answering your questions about my upcoming Radiant Self Yoga Retreat. It's happening in Ubud, Bali in this February 2025. And today I'm sharing that short chat with you and some of the questions that I'll be covering in case you may have these questions yourself are who is this retreat specifically designed for? I'll be talking about the location and giving some details around the food, the itinerary for our week together, the daily schedule, and be sure to stick it out till the end of this short chat because I'm going to be sharing my top three reasons why this Bali retreat is more unique than the other Bali retreats out there. So before we get to the goods, I have one quick announcement for you. If you happen to be catching this episode before August 9th, I want to send you an invitation to join me at the free three-day bougie in a backpack travel summit. It's happening this weekend. So it's actually happening August 9th to 11th. I'm going to share the link in the show notes and at this summit it's all pre-recorded videos from over 40 different speakers so there's going to be a ton of awesome travel information i'll be sharing a presentation on how to avoid burnout and thrive as a traveling entrepreneur so be sure to check that one out and so many other great presentations i'm looking forward to uh spending some time this weekend and catching as many as i can so if you are listening to this later than the date, it's all good. Still check out the links and you can learn how to get your hands on the replays. But grab the links in the show notes and let's get right into today's talk about my upcoming retreat in Ubud, Bali. I want to first start by talking about who this Bali retreat is for. If you've been to my retreats before or if you've seen the retreats that I've led before, generally speaking, my retreats are for sensitive heart-led humans and this retreat is absolutely no different. Those of you who are craving an opportunity to connect deeper to yourself and to the world around you, I know that as a whole, you know, there's so much going on right now in the world and many of us are feeling a bit disconnected or um, like we're missing out on something or just not quite grounded in our bodies. So this retreat is definitely for you if you've been feeling any of those things. Maybe you haven't been to Bali. I know many of you are on the other side of the world, like where I'm from in Canada, you're in the US or maybe you're in the UK or Europe. Whatever, if you have not been to Bali, I bet you it's on your bucket list and you are just waiting for that moment, that special time to actually do it. And if you have been to Bali, then you know exactly what I'm talking about here. This is an experience that really is a bucket list experience. I'm so grateful to have the lifestyle that I've created for myself where I'm actually living and working in Bali for the next year or so for you to come and really experience all of the magic that Bali has to offer, especially in Ubud. Uh, this is going to be a week of deep healing. It's going to be a week of reconnecting. It's going to be a week of pampering and really also immersing yourself in the local Balinese culture. And I will be talking more about that in just a moment. I don't know if you can hear that dog, but <laughs> there's no escaping the Bali dogs. <laughs> 
Okay, let's talk about the location of the retreat. So this is happening in Ubud, Bali. If you are not familiar with this area, we're in the jungle. This is a very sacred and beautiful place. Now, it's very popular as well, and there's good reason for that. It's really a special place, and if you know about Ubud, Bali, then you know without me even having to explain it. Uh, I was up there a couple of weeks ago. It's about an hour away from where I'm staying here around the Chenggu area in Bali. And where the retreat is going to be held is at Arma Resort and Museum. And this is a really special resort. It's dedicated to the preservation and promotion of Indonesian art and culture. So I love that this is where we will be spending our time and connecting because I got to go there a couple of weeks ago and walk around the grounds and check it out. And it's really a tranquil and serene resort where it's it's kind of tucked away a little bit, but you can still walk into town in Ubud. Um, it's very central, but when you walk onto those grounds, you feel like you are in another world. And if you've been to my retreats before, you know that I always try to incorporate options to get into nature, opportunities to just unplug and get into nature. And this resort just feels like you're already doing that, just where you're staying and we have a few other uh, nature-filled events that I'll talk about in a moment. The Arma Resort and Museum is where we will be. You will have a choice to book either a single room or a double room. Yeah, you can update your booking to either of those options if you want your own private room. Otherwise, you'll be partnered up with someone. We can chat about that. Let's talk about the food at the retreat. Now, we are going to be having amazing buffet breakfasts every morning at the resort. And then we also have some other meals that will be included. So depending on the schedule of the day, sometimes we'll be out for a few hours and then we'll have, lunch will be included. Um, there are a couple of group dinners included. And then some of the meals you will be on your own to decide what you want to do. And Ubud has any food that you can imagine you can find there. Of course, especially a lot of vegetarian and vegan, but those are not the only options. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you a list of all of my favorites around the area and yeah, just know that there's a ton of amazing restaurants to fit any budget and any palette. You're going to be really excited to get to check out some of these places. Okay, let's talk about the itinerary for the week. I know many of you were asking about that. You can find this information on the website as well. You can find that in the link in my bio or just DM me for the link. You might already know this. They are not action packed. They are not go, 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 wake up at the break of dawn and you know, but I leave space for that if that's what you're looking for. I like to slow down, right? And I like to provide space for you to reflect and rest and so that is really the theme of this particular retreat as well. Now, there's a well-balanced itinerary here that my friends at Trova Trip have created and I have tweaked a little bit to fit our needs and our intention. And so each day of the retreat, it varies a little bit with the schedule. We are going to have slower mornings giving you that time and space to reflect or to hit the town if that's what you want to do. We'll be having yoga daily, one session every day at the yoga barn, and then we'll be doing activities in the afternoons uh, for most of the days, and generally your evenings are going to be quite free. There's so much to check out in Ubud, so whether you are taking this week to just unplug and rest and catch up on relaxation this is perfect if you want to explore all the different cool there's a ton of art in Ubud there are a ton of different healing centers amazing incredible spas all of that kind of stuff you'll have plenty of time to do that at your own leisure each day does vary depending on the schedule and if you would like to check out the itinerary you can go to the website for more information on that but generally we'll be doing 
breakfast at the hotel, uh, probably a late morning yoga workshop. I'll talk more about that in a moment. And then a couple of hours of an outing, which we'll talk about as well, which takes me to my top three reasons why this retreat is actually unique. There's no shortage of Bali retreats out there and I really am excited to bring my variation of this with you. So firstly, we I'm so excited about this one. Okay, we are gonna have a local Balinese guide taking us to each of our adventures, each of our experiences every day. So we are going to have our local guide come with us and teach us about the local culture and actually help us understand uh, from someone right from the source. So even though I'm here in Bali now and I'm learning a lot and exploring the culture, obviously I cannot compete with someone who is from here and just knows everything like the back of their hand. So I'm really excited to have a local guide taking us around every day. So the second uh, reason why this is a unique retreat is we are doing so much more than yoga. This is not all yoga all the time. The yoga will be incredible and transformative, but every day we are going to really unique cultural experiences with our local guide. So I'll list off some of the experiences that we'll be doing. On the first day that we arrive, we'll be going to a sound healing session at the yoga barn, which is so magical. And then each day we'll be doing one or two other activities, like we are going to do a Jammu herbal medicine making class. If you've been to Bali, you probably know about Jammu. It's a traditional Balinese herbal drink. We're, we're going to be making that, learning how to make it and the benefits of it. And we're also going to be making a body scrub. And this is all going to be coming from a local garden, all of the ingredients that we'll be using. So we're really immersing ourselves in the culture of Bali. We're also going to be doing a Balinese offering workshop. So if you have been to Bali before, you've seen the, the traditional uh, Balinese offerings. They're these small square baskets. They're woven from coconut leaves and then they are filled with a combination of flowers and rice and nuts and little treats really and other symbolic elements and these are representing gratitude and they're representing devotion to the hindu deities so we're going to learn all about that and create our own offerings which is so cool i haven't actually done that yet so i'm looking forward to doing that and experiencing that for the first time on the retreat now we're also going to be going to the sabatu holy water spring temple and purification for a ceremony I did this uh, recently and oh my gosh, this was an extremely powerful experience. You're going to learn about the purification ritual and get to participate in it yourself. You'll be presenting offerings and then get into the pool under the flowing fountains. Maybe you've seen videos or photos of this kind of thing. I didn't really get a lot of footage when I was there because it was just such an incredible experience. I wanted to soak that in and I got a little bit like before and after. Uh, it's hard to put into words an experience like this. So if this kind of thing is on your bucket list and you are just looking for a deep cleansing, if you have a fresh start coming or you just want to feel more like you and understand yourself better and release the things that are really not serving you, this is a very powerful way to do that. And, uh, and then you'll finish off the ceremony with some guided prayer. I mentioned earlier about the nature aspect at my retreats and we will definitely, even though the resort has so much nature in it, we're going to also be visiting places like the rice terraces so that we can really just soak in that healing nature. And this is so gorgeous here. Uh, you'll have amazing views at the rice terraces and You'll have chances for photo ops and things like that too, but just being in the presence of this thick jungle and nature, we're also going to be going to the Kampuhan Ridge. And maybe you've done this before if you've been to Bali, there's a Kampuhan Ridge walk where we just walk through the jungle really and we see these panoramic views of the rice fields and other things. I mean, the river and there's just so much beauty 
tropical birds that are flying over your head and sometimes you see monkeys and all kinds of stuff. That will be another one of our excursions. The walk itself is a light hike. It's not anything that is um, very labor intensive, but it's really, really beautiful. It's more about the views. And you also get a chance to kind of walk through and see the local communities. Uh, hanging out outside their homes or their work and people working on the rice fields and you really get just immersed in the local community there. And then one more experience that we'll have is a purity cleanse. This is uh, to cleanse and purify negative energies. So we're releasing all of that stuff. That's going to be towards the end of our week together so that you really get a fresh start when you head back uh, home. This is going to help you bring more joy into your life and just create more space for abundance and and more presence and it's really going to be a beautiful ceremony to end off our week together those are the reasons why i've got one more reason why this retreat is special before i let you go and we are going to be practicing the yoga sessions at the world famous yoga barn Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you've been there. It's a very magical, special place. It's, uh, I think, close to 20 years old, and it's really a staple in Ubud, Bali, for different yoga events and retreats and workshops and all kinds of things. So I'm really excited to get to teach there and to uh, spend time with you there every day in our sessions. Normally, I feel in a Bali retreat, the teacher will just teach at the yoga shala that's at their hotel. So I think that this is going to be a really great way for us to get out of the space and connect in the yoga barn and um, really experience these sessions in a place that was built for for this type of magic okay now the daily sessions the yoga and meditation sessions i have curated these for those who don't know i have over 10 years experience teaching yoga and meditation around the globe i'm a teacher trainer i've been developing offerings for many many years of my own so i'm really excited to share these sessions that are not only yoga classes so i'll give you a quick rundown of what each daily session is and you can learn more about them on the website with the description so we are doing a practice called grounding in your truth flow and breath work we are doing a surrender to evolve yin and nidra which is kind of my specialty we'll be doing a sacred self-compassion yoga flow we'll be practicing an ignite your inner power yoga and qigong if you've been to either of my retreats last year i offered this qigong practice to help build your energy and i'm bringing it back because this is so needed, whether you're a teacher, healer, or a human, we need to get strong in our own power, and this practice is going to help you get there. And then the final session is called Release and Reclaim Yang Yin Practice, a balancing and releasing practice. So that is the information that I have for you about the Bali retreat. It's happening in February 2025. It is from the 16th to the 22nd. I believe those are the dates. Now, if you want to reserve your spot, there are payment plans available. You can pay a deposit today of only around 500 bucks to reserve your spot. Right now, that, that deposit is fully refundable as well. You can DM me if you have any other questions about the Bali retreat. Until next time, it's been really nice connecting with you here in Bali from my office. I'll talk to you all soon. That's it for now. Thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, let's stay connected. Follow me on Instagram at Ali Temple Yoga. Join us in the Traveling Wellnesspreneurs Facebook group. And if you enjoyed this episode, please take a minute to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. See you next time.